What's up everyone? Today we are going to be finishing painting the Miata. Hopefully it turned out like dog shit last time. So we're redoing it. We're going to get rid of the orange peel texture and hopefully with the new gallon of paint and rereading instructions it won't turn out as bad. Yeah. So we got some school bus yellow, uh, got some hardener and some reducer. Uh, yeah, yes. we're going to see what happens. So we're going to set you guys awesome. down and you can enjoy the, the shit show. got some paper <laughs> to mask off the inside of the Miata. And you can't do that without the best tape on earth, which is True. upside down actually. Boom. Boom. Frog it's tape. Frog tape. The, the worst $9 you'll ever spend. <laughs> the best $9 because all the other tape just peels right off if you're See? painting a car. Without frog tape, you get these really messy lines, but with it, you get these nice crisp lines that I never seem to get no matter how many times I use this tape but it is the best. This turned into a frog tape commercial. And we also got this DeWalt knife that was overly expensive, but I like how the grip is because it feels It's comfortable, nice. it's worth $15. It's worth $15. And we also got little blades for it, even though this says it comes with five. <laughs> but we'll, we'll use them. And zip ties, because you can never have enough So far it's looking better. Some spots are a lot smoother than others. So we're hoping today we can make some good progress. Stay tuned. So we already mixed in this full can of reducer to help mix the paint and make it thinner. Now we're gonna add in some hardener. Chunky. Just chunky. chunky. Thick. As you can tell, we look really rough <laughs> after a few hours of painting this thing and the numerous headaches that that electric air gun gave us. Uh, yes. Turned out a lot better than it was. Uh, still pretty orange peely, but not near as bad as it was. Uh, there's a lot of dents and shit all over this car anyway, so. Plenty of hail damage. We'll just cover yeah. them up with stickers. Didn't really care because it's going to be on the track anyway and it's probably going to get slammed into a wall. Yes. And then we're just going to get a donor car with a better body and then swap all of our own parts, so. We have a plan. It's yeah. a work in progress, but that concludes. Probably Day gonna pass out in here because of all the, <laughs> all the fumes. fumes. <laughs> Probably still be wearing this, but I know yeah. you can't hear me. <laughs> yeah. So that concludes day two of working on the Miata. See you next time. So today is day three of working on the Miata. So we were able to finish it last night and it is now 8.30 on a Saturday morning. So we're going to take off all the tape and see what all is messed up and see if everything turned out okay.
so we finished the Miata and it looks so much better. Yeah. I mean, it has the texture of an orange, but <laughs> it looks a lot better. It's definitely a 20 foot car. You see it going down the road, you're gonna be like, wow, that looks really good. And then you're gonna see it in person and be like, wow, you did a terrible job, but that's okay. <laughs> it definitely looks a lot better than its original state that we got it in, which was spray painted black, racing stripes and all just covered and chipping away. So this is a huge plus. And then we got the lip from my old Miata. Yep. And now we need to bolt all the bumpers back together, yep. find new tail lights, uh, get new tires. Get new everything. Yeah. But it's a work in progress, <laughs> but it looks good, kind of-ish.